Humanity. A word driven to bring people together. Yet all they do is fight, fight and fight. This is not the world I saw as a promise. This is the world of lies and despair and greed. But no more. It's time to make some adjustments. Identification, please. Commander B. Jaws of the US Army. I was called here. Right this way, Commander. The report said extraterrestrial. Correct. The ship has been in our atmosphere for about 24 hours. Until this morning. It landed. Any contact from inside? No, sir. It's been quiet. Well, B. Jaws, I guess you're up. This is Commander B. Jaws of the U.S. Army representing the planet Earth in contact with outer world life forms such as yourself. Please identify. And here we go. Easy on the weapons, men. No one's hostile here. Yes! Hostility. A word for threats and enemies. Humans. Every year you gather around a tree and exchange items of fortune to one another, thinking everything in the world is fine. You call it Christmas. You also spend once a year allowing your smaller breed to go to strangers' house and ask for items of sustenance. Halloween. Your species thrives on joy and celebration, but yet you continue to build weapons of war and chaos. Who are you? Ah yes, the introduction. I am Zantaran, the creator of knowledge itself. I've been watching your world for some time now. I am not satisfied. Then you come here with hostile intention. I come here with an offering. Surrender your species to me to be part of a new terraformed world. Or perish. I think you've made a big mistake here. We are many. But you are one. You think after watching your planet for millions and millions of years, I would have come unprepared? Be yours. Son of Mary and Mark. How did you know that? Fly Frasier. Daughter of biological father Phil. Who are you? I am the premonition of the human race. Soldiers! Go ahead. Shoot me. Fire! It is as I said. I didn't come unprepared. (laughs) 
What's happening? He's destroying all our air bases. We don't have air support. Okay, fall back. Fall back now. Run while you can, humanity. Because as of now, the calling begins. Frag out! Oh shit! Your world is filled with these pitiful weapons. Why? So you can cull your own species? Or is it that you just fear your own demise, that you have to just slaughter away the innocence of others? Beejaws! No. It's time to put things right. We gotta go. We gotta go. Your world is mine. Our weapons don't work against him. But I know one that might. Left one down, left one down. We're getting too close to the 1800s. You can't get too close if we're not even landing yet. Well, close enough. The coordinates are way off. Are you sure we entered the right year? My coordinates are perfectly fine, thank you very much. Oh sure, that's why we're going to the year 500,000. What? No. I said it to the 1800s. Apparently not. Maybe it's just the steed acting up. The steed is fine. You're fine, aren't you girl? Something's troubling her. What could be troubling the most powerful ship in the universe? I don't know. See, steeds usually aren't threatened by much. <coughs> Damn, that is loud. I didn't think the phone was still on the hook. Hello? Sky Chucky? It's Fly. We need your help. <laughs> it's time. How is he? Critical condition. He might not make it. What happened? Who did this? Sky Jockey. Zantaran is coming. Zantaran is coming. He's gonna destroy us all. How did this happen? We made contact with an extraterrestrial being. He was ready. He knew exactly how to combat our army. He even knew who my father was. How is that possible? Sam with me. Where to? The secret room. Since the fall of Dune, every piece of Teddy history has remained in this room, including Teddy religion. Troidika, bring up ancient religion. On it. Oh no. You see this? My Teddy is a little rusty, mainly because you never taught me. So, I don't know what it says. It says if a steed is acting nervous or uneasy, then it can only mean one thing. Rustarians. It can't be. Okay, so you're freaking me out. What is going on? There's an old story of my people that suggests the one thing Teddy's fear the most, and the one thing the rest of the universe should fear. The Rust area. Brutal beings, watching over individual worlds for billions of years until one day they become unsatisfied with the planet's people. So the culling begins. I never believed the story. What do you mean you never believed it? It's religion, Jesse, I don't believe in it. Like people, they follow one thing of a different story per people. Teddies are no different. But I guess this has turned out to be a prophecy. So clear this up for me. This Rustian, Rustarian, he is gonna wipe the planet clean of life because he's not satisfied? How about we go ask him? Human beings. Such precious little creatures. Let me guess. Santaran. Sky Jockey. You know me? I do. 
I know everything there is to know about Earth. When I first learnt that a teddy had been defending this world, I thought maybe there is a chance that the human race could come back. But not even you are enough to fix it. Yeah, well, fix this. What? Oh boy! I cannot spray my load! Oh, pistol, you two! I don't know what's happening. You know, I thought this planet was quite peaceful. Until these. Items of human slaughter. Surely a teddy like you would understand my intentions. Your intentions are hostile. I cannot allow you to do whatever you plan on doing. I'm afraid there is no choice for you in the matter. Then I have to stop you. You can certainly try. You need help? No, Fly, don't worry. I got this. Just get out of here. Sky Chucky, what happened? Get us in the air. On it. I know a way to stop him. Robot Spider, hold down the red button. Why? It's an EMP. A big one. Okay then. <laughs> well played. I didn't know you had an EMP. Well, I kept it secret. Just in case. The only thing is it took out the entire country. Debbie lights up in two hours. It's not to run, not so much. Well played, Teddy. And to think. I knew all your weapons and tricks. But this is the thing. I was never going to stay here. I need to find my weapon first. Listen, Santoran. We can work things out. You don't need to destroy this world. Sky Jockey of Doom. Your real name hidden. Burning in the very star you were born upon. Jesse, the wife. Uncertain of her future. Tiffany and Samantha, such lost sisters. With one of them being Teddy, and one of them with parental issues. You don't know shit. Scorpio, the man from the future. Lost in his own time. Mourning over Maisie and Nicole. Enough of this. Rafe, how about that? I know more about you than yourself. Robot Spider, jam the signal. He's in our heads. I can't. He's too powerful. We will meet again, Sky Jockey. The next time I return to this planet, I will colonize it with a new age. He knows everything about us. How is that possible? He's been watching the Earth for billions of years. Learning. Waiting. Where is he heading? All over the place. The year 1 million, 1980, 6000. He's jumping through time. Why? He's looking for something. Or someone. Earth. So peaceful. The new age will like this world. A world free of violence. A world ruled by me.